Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TeacherCast Educational Network. Welcome back to our brand new series all about Microsoft Teams. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Thank you so much for joining us today and making TeacherCast your home for professional development. This is episode number two. Today, we're talking all about Teams and how it works. I am so excited. With me today, as always, is Jenny and Salee. Jenny and Salee, how are you today? Welcome to the program. We're great. Yay. Thank you. I am so happy to have you guys back on. Of course, in our first video, we talked a little bit about what is Microsoft Teams and why is it important? I gotta tell you, we had so many people reach out to us with questions about Microsoft Teams. I wanted to start off today by asking you guys, what are the benefits of using Microsoft Teams? What can you use it for? It really is the mecca of collaboration. So it allows you to collaborate, connect, create, and really house everything all in one place. Now, there's so many things that Microsoft Team has inside. We're going to get to this all in our series coming up. So make sure that you guys check out all the great stuff over here. You can hit the like and subscribe button so that way you know when we have more things coming on. But we want to start today at the beginning. Talk to us a little bit about Microsoft Teams and what we can expect as a newbie. Talk to us a little bit about the dashboard. How does the whole thing work and how do we navigate our way around? Absolutely, Jeff. Let's take a look at the left side navigation panel. The first icon is the activity icon. This includes any time my name is mentioned within any of my team's conversations and private chats. It also includes any assignments that have been assigned to me and when I have been added to a team. If I click the down arrow, it allows me just to look at my activity as well. So this offers a look at what I have recently posted in Teams. If you click the chat icon, this will allow you to send a message to individuals privately versus sending messages to the whole group. We actually have had this feature turned off for our students. By clicking the Teams icon, I can see a list of all of the teams that I'm a member of or an owner of. You can customize this list by favoriting different teams. Just click the ellipsis and click Favorite. The meeting icon is where you can schedule Skype meetings with anyone in your team or outside of your organization. With the calls icon, you can utilize Skype for Business to call your contacts. The files icon is actually connected to your OneDrive. When you click this icon, you can edit, get links, and even create files all from your OneDrive within Teams. By clicking the assignments icon, you can create assignments. See your assignments and their due dates, and also turn them in. And lastly, the ellipsis, or the three dots at the bottom of the screen, allows you to access more of your favorite applications. If you click this button, you can quickly navigate to Stream, Planner, Flow, OneNote, and more. That is absolutely great information. It is really, really nice to see how easy it is to use Microsoft Teams. I gotta ask you, personalization of Teams is so important. How can you go ahead and make Teams your own? Jeff, let's take a look at the menu tabs at the top. Teams actually comes with three standard tabs across the top of the dashboard, Conversations, Files, and OneNote. The Conversations tab is where you can have whole group conversations with the team. It allows you to send messages directly to team members by adding an at symbol by their name. You can share attachments with the team, use emojis, GIFs, Skype instantly, and more. From the Files tab, you can access files for this specific team. Any file added by any member can be accessed here. The next two tabs is where the customization begins. Depending on the type of team you have created, you will have access to a class notebook, staff notebook, or OneNote. You can also rename this tab. If you've created an assignment, for this team, the Assignments tab will automatically appear. The last tab is actually a plus sign, and this is where you can add some of your favorite apps to the team as well. This offers your students the ability to access outside content and applications without leaving the team's interface. You can add apps such as Flipgrid, Nearpod, Quizlet, Polly, and more. So Jenny and Sally, you can easily see here how easy it is to use Teams. Many people are sitting here going, how do I get in touch with Teams? How do I use this great application? What advice would you have for anybody starting out? 
That's a great question, Jeff. I would encourage everyone to go check out the Microsoft website. You can go to education.microsoft.com and there are many courses available there from beginner to advanced. Doesn't take you long, but it will give you all the information you need to get started. You can also check out docs.microsoft.com for more information as well. One of my favorites is the Teams demo, which is at teamsdemo.office.com. It's a great place. It's interactive and you can just scroll through and it walks you right through what to do with Teams. That's great. There are so many great resources over at education.microsoft.com. We're going to make sure that we have all the links in our show notes. Don't forget, if you like this video, check the like button and hit subscribe on this channel. There's going to be plenty more videos coming out on how to help you learn all the amazing things happening at Microsoft Teams. And before I go, I wanted to remind you guys that on April 15th of 2019 is the applications for the MIE program. Jenny and Celie, we talked a little bit about this last time, but one more time for anybody out there who hasn't heard about the MIE program. Why is the MIE program such a wonderful professional development program for you? Well, it has been life changing for us. It has brought us um, so many people in our PLN that we have grown to know and learn from. Um, it has given us opportunities to reach out to people globally. We have um, visited museums and we've Skyped with different educators and we have also um, been able to participate in many PD online courses. And it's just really a, a family online. We just love the community. So there you have it. We are going to be taking a look at Microsoft Teams from a variety of reasons. In our next show, we're going to talk about creating a team and we're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process that anybody would take that first time they open up Microsoft Teams. We hope you had a great time watching this show. For more information, you can, of course, check everything out over at teachercast.net. And for some more information about our Microsoft resources, you can go to teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU. That's teachercast.net slash Microsoft EDU. So on behalf of Jenny and Celie and everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.